Let's get this party started. Coverage tight, spotlight on tomorrow. Who you with? Trust, you'll be delighted that you followed. At first contention, the invention. We debate sports, of course we should mention. What's that? We cover games, we don't play suspensions. We 100, so if your star's missing, we let you know your squad surely gone fishing. We never fish though, no, not our motto. We sport, we sport on deals, on court, on court, on fields. The victors, the vengeance, the legends, latest invention. I said hola senors and senoritas. Welcome to another episode of First Contention. I'm your boy Marvin S. Banks, shed over in Shed's block, Miss Jolly right here, and of course, Mr. Ty. Whoa, so Cena. Salutations, everybody. Championship edition of this show. We we've got some we've got some work to do and catch up on. Capitra, what are we talking about today? All right, so today we're going to recap the NBA Finals. It was a good one. We're going to hit on Pete Rose. He's trying to get into the MLB Hall of Fame. The Blackhawks have won. Championship! And the NBA draft is coming up, so we have our own little draft going on. Before we get things started, let's kick it over to our main man, Shed and Shed's block. Shed, what's going on? MVP. What's going on? MVP. Hey. MVP. Hey. No, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Strive high every day. We're here talking about sports once again. It's been a while. Shout out to Diddy. Oh, man. <laughs> Showing UCLA that he's a bad boy for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for life. All right, let's, let's get this show going, fellas and lady. Let's have a good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Todd. All right. We tease. All right. All right. So. You guys already saw the, the finals MVP, Steve Davis. Uh, let's talk more about the finals. Golden State, they get it done in six. Steve, I mean, you had it. It's almost as if you bet on the game yourself. Uh, segue for something later. Later on, later on. Uh, you guys' thoughts on Golden State beating LeBron in the Cavaliers six games? Ladies first. Uh, well, you know, guys, remember when I said Golden State was going to win? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. If you follow me on Twitter, Golden State was going to win, so I'm just proud of them. That was team ball right there. That's how they won. Fire. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a close series, but I think the Cavs are going to take it all. <laughs> Three out of four people on this set went for Golden State. Somebody went for Cleveland. That's 75% uh, mathematics statistics. So she went for Ohio against everyone. But I took one for the team. I guess so. Sucking. Um, but, yeah, the Warriors won. How did they win? Well, they was absolutely the better team. Mm -hmm. When you look at the depth and when you have the ability to have Steve come off the bench uh, for two games and have him start game four and just – Dominate, become MVP, then, I mean, what more can you say about that? No love, no Kyrie. Della Vadova thought he could hold Steph, and well. <coughs> uh, well Misconception. Yeah, well, we saw what happened. America uh, pumped him up, too. Quick. Yeah, America did pump him up, <laughs> and we saw what really happened. Uh, Steph kind of went berserk on him, so. Congratulations to the Warriors. Deeper team wins. The, the longer the series went, you could see LeBron was gassed. You, you saw him getting rubbed down on his cast. Mm -hmm. Deli was getting rubbed down. He had to go to the, uh, the hospital for IR for dehydration. And again, I mean, that wasn't Steve coming off the bench. That, that was Apophis. Let me show you some <laughs> alpha love. See, that was Apophis coming off the bench. Won the MVP again. I thought it was well-deserved, but the Cavaliers got away from what they, what they did best. You know, they, they were controlling the clock. They had Mozgov in the center. Blatt, he, he gets... Blame for so much that when when Golden State goes smalls and inserts uh, Andre Iguodala in the lineup, he completely just says, "You know what, uh, Mozgov, just don't even play." This is this is yeah. a team that's already minus their second and third best players. So what do you do? You take out the fourth best player and you put in the um, I'm not gonna take credit for this. Woody Page called them the Trash Brothers, uh, Jr. Miss. <laughs> And Iman Chumpert. And, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and you think that's going to get it done? It's not going to oh. get it done. Uh, oh, Curry wow. started off slow, but man, wow. he, he finished strong. He finished strong. He had a supporting cast, yeah. too, mm -hmm. that LeBron just didn't have. You know, LeBron went on the record saying he's the best player in the world. Which, I mean, no disagreement. No but. disagreement. Mm -hmm. But we learned with this series that it takes team ball to win championships. 
Definitely so. I mean, I I love the way that LeBron used David Blatt as his whipping boy. But when we talk about what didn't happen in the Cavalier, what didn't happen with the Cavaliers, but what did happen? Iggy won MVP. He won MVP, and I think that they actually got it right. You know, a lot of people were trying to give LeBron a lot of love, saying that you know he's averaging close to a triple double. Mm-hmm. Maybe he could be in a runner for MVP, winning two games with that team. It's happened before. Yeah. Jerry West in '69. Yeah. You know, I kind of think they might have took a little bit of advantage of Steph Curry's light skinness and his wholesomeness. Okay. This is just because if it was LeBron or any other star player of a team. They wouldn't have gave it to, like, they wouldn't, that was kind of like what you do in high school, you know, you give it to that person for the sacrifices they made. <laughs> not saying that Andre didn't do, not saying he wasn't a big contributor, but they would have never done that to another So, in other words, you player. say they just gave him a participation MVP trophy, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, it didn't last all six right. games. <laughs> and we knew it wouldn't happen, but when you let Matthew Delvadova come in and give you a couple bad outings with Kyrie Irving hurt granted you know you didn't scout for Delhi you, you didn't plan on playing him I, I don't think he can be the MVP. just what no Mm-mm. I don't agree the series changed <laughs> when Steve was inserted into the starting lineup sure did but there was leadership there coming from Steph Curry and I just feel like if it was any other leader on a different NBA team they wouldn't have done that to him not saying that Andre didn't deserve it. I mean, it could either way, but typically how we've seen these whole MVP selections go, I don't know about that. I liked it. Oh, uh, interesting, interesting. Well, let's talk to the man himself, Mr. MVP. <laughs> share the share his block. <laughs> how do you feel about these accusations? Do you think you deserve the MVP trophy? I think you deserve to practice your free throws. That too. See? Almost hey. shot himself out of it. There you go. My brother from another mother, <laughs> not me. Played well, man. I mean, you got seven votes, seven out of 11. I mean, that kind of shows you that they actually got it right. But first, I want to say this. Cleveland, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. J.R. Smith is who I thought he was. LeBron, he saw it too late. And pretty much, he couldn't carry them to too much further than what he did. I mean, you got to commend him. He got two games out of him. You know, that's the best he can do without Kyrie and Kevin Love and J.R. Smith not showing up. I mean, LeBron did proclaim himself as the best player in the world. Granted, he is, but that last game, it didn't seem like he was aggressive enough. Um, and my prediction came through. I mean, Golden State won in six games. They moved the ball. And obviously, when my brother from another mother was inserted in the game as a starter, things changed dramatically. I mean, he was, he was guarding LeBron. LeBron was still going off, but it, it still kind of changed the pace of the game. They were moving the ball fast. They were running up and down the court. Iggy was taking advantage of Mozgov. And the, the flow of the team started to, started to go a little bit better. Steph Curry started getting better shots. I mean, everything started to build just because this guy was inserted inside, inside the lineup. So I'm so happy that he actually got the MVP. Um, and, man, the Warriors, they just got a deep team. I mean, you just, you just got to commend them. They had a magical season, 67 wins in the regular season. You know, I think they finished, what, 80 and 14, something like, like, like that? Something crazy like that. Some crazy story. record. Something I mean, they're, they're like in the top three records of the NBA uh, right now from just from start to finish. So you got to commend them for that. You know, you got Steve Kerr as the first year head coach, and he's, he's getting it done. I know Mark Jackson is really salty right now, and I yes, feel for the man. But these Warriors, are they're legit, and they can definitely be a dynasty going forward if they – keep the pieces in place. I know they're trying to trade David Lee right now and keep Draymond. So we'll see how that goes. But Cavaliers, I try to tell you, man, I try to tell you. Back to you. Like you said, he tried to tell y'all, but. Is the formula for MVP just whoever guards LeBron and does a decent job on him? Is that who we're just going to give the MVP? That's why he said he's the best MVP. player in the world. And Kawhi did it, got one last year, Steve this year. Well, but speaking of one, MVP to the old MVP and the baseball hit champion, Pete Rose. Well, he got in a little bit of trouble this past week. All-star game is in Cincinnati. New commissioner. Maybe thinking about lifting the lifetime ban. And what happened? A book comes out that he bet on baseball, not only as a manager, 
But as a player as well, while playing with the Reds, did he just shoot himself in the foot? Is his Hall of Fame now just dead and gone? Probably so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Probably so. Especially because yeah. he was like, I mean, I bet it on baseball, but not as a player. I mean, he was like, yeah, I did it. He thought he was out. Yeah. <laughs> What's done in the dark always comes to the light. True. True. It True. had me thinking about OJ. <laughs> man, you make this miraculous escape. You're a free man. Fly away a little bird, but what? You go, if I did, and you just, just, just go somewhere. <laughs> go somewhere. I mean, what does it say? Baseball, this is, this is a sport and a bunch of old head fans, you know, traditional fans who, mm -hmm. who had trouble adapting to, to replay. So, I mean, they really stick to, to what's written down. It's rule 21, you know, if, if you bet on the game, that's it. I mean, you're not getting to the Hall of Fame, and, and he did. Now, do I personally hold it against him for betting on his games? Because it seemed like he wasn't good at betting on football games and all these <laughs> other games. But My, he was getting the Cincinnati ones. At least they bet on yourself. At least he it wasn't was, betting against his team. <laughs> yeah. So, and I think that was one of his arguments. I mean, you know, when they say <laughs> bet on yourself, he literally he bet, bet on, on himself. himself. <laughs> but I mean, just think about it. You know, you're like Ty says, you're home free. You're about to get a see the light. And what happens? How in the world? Do you find a book from 1986 it was so that contains up. information that you bet on yourself while playing with the Reds? Shouldn't you have that burnt away? So even if I did have well, the evidence, that's well, he did have it himself. Blaze. In all fairness, it was the guy he was using who was selling fake memorabilia, and that's how it all unfolded. He was selling fake autographs. He was like forging autographs on sports memorabilia. And people were getting their product and were complaining. So then there was an investigation and then there was a box. And then P. Rose is just like, you what? Act, you <laughs> act shady, you hang around shady people, and he was this, with this real is thugs. what can happen. I mean, it's just, it's interesting now. He pretty much just shot himself in the foot. Yeah. And now think about what's happening now with A Rod <laughs> becoming three, Mr. 3000 with the mm -hmm. 3000 home run against Justin Ver Verlander uh, not too long ago. Do you think he makes it into the Hall of Fame? A Rod? Yeah. He's going to have to wait. A long time. Uh, you think so? I think they're going to wait for you know all these Hall of Fame voters and journalists to move on and and get in that 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 new, new blood <laughs> yeah. the new blood who may be like uh, that, no it's long ago not the back in my day fellas again baseball you know, yeah. baseball, yeah, baseball they are American. so traditional mm -hmm. and they love the old rules uh, it's, it's the good old boy sport you know yeah so it's gonna man be was wild. banned for like 26 years and and <laughs> just when you think the my man was banned from my life. <laughs> he was banned from my life. He's what, 74, 75 now, and you know, that's like getting out of jail but violating your probation and going back in for life. Right at the exactly. end. Right at the end. <laughs> Just right at the end. Exactly. You know? But uh, I guess, well, me and Capitra will probably just sit back, Ty, go ahead and do your what? little rent that you're about to get go on. Championship! Side town stand up. Shout out to the Chicago Blackhawks winning Lord Stanley's Cup in six. This was actually similar to the Golden State and uh, Cleveland series, if I do say so myself. Man, Conn Smythe winner. Yeah, I guess so. Duncan Keith, defenseman, basically the most valuable player of the finals. My man played an average of 31 minutes a game during the playoffs. A full hockey game is, is 60 minutes, not to mention Blackhawks were down defensemen. There was only four defensemen, so he was putting in over overtime. He scores the game-winning series clinching goal um, from from Patrick Kane. This was an awesome finals series. I was trying to tell y'all to turn on and watch it. The Lightning, man, they're young, they're upcoming, they're just like Golden State. But at the end of the day, the Blackhawks had what Cleveland didn't. They had healthy bodies. So, in other words, what you're saying is <laughs> that the Blackhawks are kind of like the Cleveland Cavaliers, but winning, and they have LeBron playing for. They don't necessarily Black, have Black, LeBron, Black but going into the season, people said the Cavaliers were going to win it mm -hmm. with a healthy team. You know, LeBron forced it to six. I think he, I think he could have perhaps got it done with with a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. 
the Blackhawks, you look at their roster, you know, that, that strikeout, that um, strike shortened year where the Blackhawks rattled like 26 straight wins the last time we talked hockey on the show because it was that big of a deal. Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, Patrick Sharp, Duncan Keith. Man, even Corey Crawford. Corey Crawford, he had a few bad games, but he showed up. And as for the Lightning, again, Tyler Johnson, one of, one of the players I said to look out for, he, he was able to get into that. Steven Stamkos did not get it done. But one person who did get it done, Big Ben Bishop in the net for the Tampa Bay Lightning. He was my, cons, my uh, choice, had the Lightning won, but to put the whole series in a nutshell in one play when Patrick Sharp scored in game five. Bishop was like six feet out of the net and he gets ran over by his own player and Sharp just, the net was wide open. No, wide open. I was gonna watch hockey, <laughs> but then power came on. So I decided to watch power instead of watching hockey. Okay. But here's an interesting debate. Ty, hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically, Hypothetically of speaking, let's say miraculously somehow the Bears win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Who has a bigger parade, the Blackhawks or the Bears? The Bears. The Bears will have a bigger parade. You think See, so? I don't think that should happen though because the Blackhawks have won three out of five years right now. Wow. Three out, so? three, three out of six. Three out of six. six. Mm-hmm. So that's some respect right there, at least. That's, you know, that's a that's a dynasty. That's a championship type team. You know, are they ever going to get any African Americans play for that team? I don't see why not. I mean, they got they got quite the African American population. You know how awesome the Hawks are? They're pretty awesome. They sound messed up, but it's true. They got black people loving hockey. Ain't that so? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> there, there you go. Couldn't put it in front of that. The Black Hawks have black people in Chicago excited about hockey. That's how good this team is. That's why it's, it it adds another element to it. You it's know. Like Tiger Woods. Exactly, exactly. You bring it in this other culture. Granted, you know, you can say what you want. You know, they're a winning team. You're hopping on the bandwagon. But man, shot town stand up. I mean, up. the city Agency. deserves to Be have proud a team to from. get behind. Exactly. Sure, so. But at Especially. the end of the day, it's, it's a football town. People love talking about the 85 Bears. We only did it once in the Super Bowl era, but people <laughs> love talking about the 85 Bears. But, you I know, mean, it's a pretty Thanks iconic well. team. Yeah. Like hey, you thanks. said, Capucha, uh, Chicago definitely deserves a winning team. So let's Championship! Go. Yeah, Hello. That too. Hey. Well, they deserve a winning team. They got it. That's they what we're saying. It. They oh, deserve dude. this. You know? Milltown. Anywho. Anywho. Burn. Now, we know that the NBA draft is around the corner. I gave you my top five picks. My top five picks have not changed since last time I gave them. So let's do things a little bit differently here today. We, as in me, Ty, and Steve, We'll draft our own NBA team with current NBA players. And Miss Jolly right here will critique, give yays, nays, guillotine chops, whatever she likes to do. So the rules of this draft will be as such. Six players drafted to one team, Mm -hmm. draft a head coach, and draft a celebrity sponsor. Now due to the fact that Steve won MVP this past uh, week in the NBA, he gets to go first. Uh, due to rock, paper, scissors, and me winning, I will go second. Of course, Trey's up over there. Trey's up, baby. Uh, to Mr. Ty Wilson Cena. Miss Capetra over here will have her own special edition of <laughs> her <laughs> own draft, which she will feature a little bit later. So, But in the meantime, let me get my stopwatch out because you only have 20 seconds to choose. 20 seconds. 20 seconds to choose. We don't like cheaters, Pete Rose. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I guess... Capetra, let's get things started with the first overall pick in the first contention. Come on over. NBA draft. Shed over there in Shed Tankers. <laughs> draft. <laughs> Shed Tankers. You are. We tanked and got the number you are one pick. On yep. the clock. Unlike right. the Knicks. Coming here, getting the number one pick is awesome because we're going to build a foundation for the guy who is going to be the future of the NBA, the MVP of the future, Mr. with the Davis. Give me Anthony Davis as the number one pick, baby. Oh, Oh, so Anthony Davis. Take it to you guys. Wow, I did not see that coming. I did not see that. Oh, he shook up that strategy. He he kind of shook up everything. All right, Marvin, you're on the clock. Oh, I'm going to make this easy. He called himself the best player in the world, so I'm going with LeBron James. All righty then. LBJ. Ty Wilson, you are on the clock. Trey's up, love my position. Man, 
Thank you, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> let's see who I want to go in the first round. Doesn't matter. They're both counting me. I'm taking Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. Ooh, you better be able to stop me. Take it. <laughs> Draft over. Ooh, go ahead. So he went KD and Steph Curry. Now, uh, I'm sitting here. KD on. can ask Steph wait, wait, how to you? beat LeBron. It's his turn. It's his. Oh, so, so as Ty you know, only took 20 seconds, so technically I have 40 seconds. So <laughs> now my rationale of thinking as I sit back and think about how do I want to construct my team and how do I want to be dominant? Now, granted, Steve chose a phenomenal player. I did not see Anthony Davis going that first far overall? up. First overall? I know. First overall, oh. I, I thought Anthony Davis was going to be here for me. Nope. but He wouldn't have made it to you. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, that's what I was hoping. So, as I sit back and think about who do I want to pick for my next pick, I'm going to go with the runner-up in MVP this past year. I'm going to go with the beard. I'm going with James Harden. Okay. No defense. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. right. LeBron going to keep carrying that team. Well, bring it back to me. I get two picks in a row, so this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, you already know who I'm about to pick right now because it's my boy. We about to shoot it up. We about to light it up. You got Kevin Durant over there. You got Talk LeBron. About no Come on, Melo. You know you're on my <laughs> squad. Let's go, Melo. Talking about no defense. Somebody Wait, I got another pick, don't I? Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. Yep, bring it back. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got Melo. You know what I'm saying? That's my offensive threat. But I also want some overall defense, offense, having some of the little playmaking. And people forgot about my guy this year because he got injured. But he's going to come back full force, and this is my dude. He wears my favorite number in the NBA, mm. 13, PG-13. Let's go, Paul George. You're on the squad. Let's go. Oh, oh so you picked up the people everybody forgot about. Bravo, yeah, Steve, sure. man. <laughs> bravo. I'll give it to you. I thought, I thought PG was going to be a sleeper late. Uh, oh, he, bravo. He, I bravo. PG-13. Uh, great, great pick. Great pick. Now I'm back on the clock, so here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Let me sit up for a second. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go big. Okay. LeBron is playing point for me. Oh, There's wow. no if, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> James Harden Smart. is going to play the, uh, one of the wing positions. And I'm going to go with a person that's supposed to be a shooting guard, but really plays point guard. I'm going with Russell Westbrook. Okay. I'll take that. I was about to take him, but People sleep I like a little limp a little bit. Yeah. Ty, well, where are we going? All right. Um, we're going back to the shy. And hopefully he stays in the shy. No, nope, um, he's gone. <laughs> Most improved player of the year this past season. Man, I am taking Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Jimmy Butler. So I already got two former NBA MVPs. Got Jimmy. Man, when we come back, I think I need to go big. But I'm going to, nah. Nah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Blake Griffin. Give me Blake Griffin. I'm sorry. I like Blake Griffin. I need Blake Griffin. I need Blake Griffin. Uh, oh, thank Marvin. you. I don't need help selling tickets, but Marvin's on the clock. Griffin Force. <laughs> now with me being on the clock, now I need somebody smart. I need somebody to play the middle. I need somebody that knows how to pass. I need somebody to control the paint area. Mark Gasol, I like okay. your game. Mark Gasol, come hmm. on, come on over here. I'm taking Mark Gasol with my fourth overall. It's good, it's good, it's good. On the clock. Now, well, I got two picks here. Yes. Got two picks. I need somebody just like who last time a stone cold killer you know what i'm saying out there making plays for his teammates you know can make the last shot when it counts and just got the dog in him i mean he took my boy westbrook but that's all right i got another zero in mind let's go damian lillard because we about to light it up from the three-point range we're gonna make some plays we're gonna pass the ball and this dude got defense but it's underrated so that's good for enough for me let's do that and with the next pick it's a little bit of thinking right here because I can go big, I can go small. I mean, I got a little bit of length on my, on my squad right now, but I don't have enough shooting. So I need to think about getting some shooting on that squad. And how can I not go with one of the Splash Brothers? I mean, <laughs> Clay Thompson, come on to the squad. I know you can shoot, but I need that defense. I don't need you fouling out with five points. I need you to play good with me, man. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, wow. let's, let's go, squad. Stipulation. Oh, yes. So I'm going oh, to wow. Steve's team. Shots <laughs> fired. Marvin, you're on the clock. Okay, well, now that I'm on the clock now, I have to think ahead. I have to make sure I like versatility on my team. Okay. And I, I like a winning culture, winning atmosphere. I think this player is definitely going to be a nice sleeper. I think this player is definitely going to have a nice come up. I'm taking Kawhi Leonard. Okay. I like his game. I like... I like the overall versatility of his game. Kawhi Leonard. I like it. I like that. And Mr. Stelcina. 
Oh, then it comes back. All right, all right. Last two picks. All right, so uh, we've got one through four set. I need a big man. I need to think about the future. Someone's going to guard the rim. Give me Roy Hibbert. Just kidding. I'm just Whoa. kidding. <laughs> Whoa, I'm just kidding. kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna tweak it a little bit. I want someone who's got you know some some X factor in him who can who can switch up a little bit. Give me Boogie Cousins. Ooh. I think I'm gonna take Boogie Cousins. Have have him play my center, and then I will round it up. I need someone to come off the bench, someone to help me out. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back home. Shout out to D Rose. No Man, that player is nice. He's coming off the bench, so he won't get hurt. If he plays. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see how that happens. <laughs> coming off the bench. Healthy. Uh-huh. Back on me. Six and man, with like my Google. last pick, see, here's where I'm going to go. Okay. I'm just going to dominate you guys because I'm just going to go height and length and versatility. I see. You know, I got height and length and versatility. Uh, but, stop the right Indian. there, Herman. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to go. I'm going to go with an underrated power four, someone I can stretch it out, someone I can dominate. I like LaMarcus Aldridge to come to my squad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like LaMarcus Aldridge. And that would be your edition of Draft Day. Shed. <laughs> Took my guy. Well, he can be on the block for the right play, Steve. <laughs> well, obviously, I need, I need another big, but I need another big that's versatile, that can play. I want him to come in, block some shots, make a couple shots. Um, it's a lot of choices out there. I mean, he took the guy that was off the top of my dome. You know, Blake Griffin's gone as well. So what should I do with this pick? I don't know right now, to be honest with you. But this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to pick <laughs> based upon <laughs> Right? 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 <laughs> I'm going to pick me. <laughs> Andre Iguodala, just come to the squad. <laughs> I need your versatility. Anthony hey. Davis is going to hold it down in the paint. We just gonna r- rally around. We are gonna play a little bit of small ball, but we are gonna spread the power. We gonna spread the ball around. We are gonna play, play good. And also, I get to pick a coach right now because this is my last pick. Yeah. So I want Tom Thibodeau. I mean, everybody been giving him some underrated. You know, fired him. I think mm-hmm. he's been a great coach. Been doing a lot for what he's been given in Chicago. And your Rose team will die. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play some defense with an offensive squad though. So that's all I need. You got Melo on your team. We gonna play some defense. <laughs> With an offensive squad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thank, you see Shed, how that thank, worked out for Thank you for making Cavs. multiple mistakes. I, we know that you pick uh, Golden State to win in six games. Your first correction, your first thing that went right in basketball all this season on first contention. Well, I go with a head coach. I want a coach that's going to win, mm-hmm. that's continue winning right now. Pop, Ovich, Gregory, come to the squad. <sighs> Oh, I want to pop so bad. More importantly, because he knows how to rest his players and make the old people play for a long time, which is what my sixth man of the year, Derrick Rose, is going to need on the team. Yeah. So with him being gone, maybe it's just because I'm kind of still inside in, in the mood and in the times. Uh, Mark Jackson. Let me take Mark Jackson because Mark Jackson, I mean, he's, he's hurting right now. He's hurting right now. So I feel you. This, this team's so good. Hey, this team's so good. We'll help you get that, that ship that you deserve. Oh, wow. um, okay. Now for my celebrity sponsor, sponsor as we send it on back. And um, I mean, we can just end the show right here because this is just, <laughs> this, this is just gonna, uh, it's just over. It's just over. It's, it's just so done. All right, the team's so good. I mean, I got all the fellas loving the squad. They loving the crew. But you know what we're going to get? Not only are we going to get money, not only are we going to get recognition and faces. Sorry, I know I got 20 Your seconds. We're going to get the ladies. Up. Queen B, Beyonce, could be our team sponsor. <laughs> oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Oh. Dang. He might have been oh. with that uh, one. You know what? Fatality. Wow. I, you know, yeah. I was going, I was going to draft Beyonce before I draft Popovich. It was going through my mind, <laughs> but I didn't go there. But I'm gonna need someone to control Beyonce. Oh. I'm, gonna someone, <laughs> I'm gonna need someone, maybe not who run the world. Maybe not on the same level, but who probably has better videos than Beyonce right now. Oh. I want Nicki Minaj on my squad. <laughs> <laughs> I want Nick. I want her. <laughs> yes, I want her. I want Nikki on my squad as my celebrity sponsor. Oh, well, I don't know how you're gonna top that one, Steve. I don't know either. Cause I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Cause you know, I just got back from the three one four. That's my squad. You know, that's my city. It's where I'm born and raised. So he wow. better not my say dude. It. He better. You know, you know I'm. You know who I'm about to say. Chingy. You know we. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, no jingy. <laughs> you mean what we, you got? But we what don't mess with jingy. <laughs> if my, my people know, we don't mess with jingy. But I'm gonna go with my boy. Come on, man. Murphy Lee, St. Lunatics. You Murphy can bring Lee. the squad, but Nelly, I oh. need you back. Oh, yeah. We gonna run this team <laughs> in St. Louis. We gonna have a team in St. Louis. We gonna have a team. And I don't know. We gonna do it big. Camera on us, please. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> that was cute enough. Exactly. But you can get another C- CDs for like 50 cents now. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespectful. Uh-huh. They have, you know, these legit picks, but it was more important is how eye candy-ish is your team. So in no specific order, you all know I love Steph Curry. I'm going real guard heavy. Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Kyrie Irving. And then I love a chocolate man in a suit, Serge Ibaka. Uh, and then to rounding out because I'm all about the beard. Really? Richard Lewis. Oh, I thought you were okay. oh, 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 man. Oh. <laughs> wow. And just in case we need someone coming off the bench, we'll pick up Mr. Matt Barnes with all the tattoos. And then as my head coach, well, I didn't have much to choose from there. So we're going to go with Doc Rivers for unsaid reasons. Okay. Celebrity sponsors. I like a savvy businessman. I'm going with 50 Cent. Uh, I I'm kind of getting money, man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't lost his mind, man. I think that's bail money right here, man. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Miss Jolly gave her uh, her edition, uh, granted. Now, her was, hers was a little eye candy-ish, mm-hmm. as she would like to say. But I definitely feel that uh, I'm just going to go big and just dominate you guys. And just that's fine. Uh, thank I you. don't know. I think that based on how the finals went this year, Ty's team might win. Hello, Why? somebody. But Derrick Rose For not going to stay healthy. Well, it's okay. Everybody else will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. LeBron, I got shooters too, man. LeBron likes leaders. All right. When well, you've heard everyone's he editions. That's about shooting. <laughs> this <laughs> edition. <laughs> <is> shooting. Pokovich. He does have Beyonce. Don't forget. Like the video. <laughs> like his own. Hurry to get Nikki. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter while you're at it. I forget where we're at. I think it's YouTube. YouTube, subscribe, share the videos, et cetera, et cetera. Miss Jolly, any last words? Um, thank you all for watching us. Appreciate it. Well, for Shed over there, Shed's Block, for Miss Jolly, I'm Marvin Banks, and for Mr. Ty Well, so Cena. Signing off. <laughs> Marvin, Hit the like my, button. Want to see my Tony Kornheiser impersonation? Yeah. Reiki Hall, happy birthday, 21. Shout out. Yeah, there you go. Ricky, finally of age. Woo, woo. Ricky! He don't look it. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just saying, I'm playing LeBron at the point. Hashtag I'm, peach fuzz. I'm posting Steph up, and I'm definitely posting d I ain't got up. Steph. You ain't going to post got Steph both of up. I'm posting Steph up. Man, I, I got Boogie Cousins and Blake in there. Oh, we know Blake, Blake is soft. That's why I got Boogie. That's why I got Boogie. <laughs> take him out. Man, that's why I need a Boogie <laughs> on my team. Ride with first contention, that's full throttle We sport, we sport on deals, on court, on court, on fields. The victors, the vengeance, the legends, latest invention. First contention. We sport, we sport on deals, on court, on court, on fields. The victors, the vengeance, the legends, latest invention. Game face grit, like born for playoffs Say it all in small time like payoffs